Three minute mastery from module two, sedimentary rock deformations and basic oil traps. Here we're going to talk about how folds happen. So you may recall from a, the previous module that when tectonic plates interact with one another, uh, things tend to happen. And here we have a subduction zone, and here is another subduction zone. Uh, here this one plate is spreading apart, it's growing, and this is how those interactions occur material that's coming up from the mantle. So what happens when when we have two plates that are interacting with one another? Well here we see this mountain range and this range is formed because this plate is getting squeezed and in fact it's probably getting squeezed in one of these fashions and I would uh, venture that it's uh, probably this anticline right here and we'll talk more about that in just a moment, but I want to introduce you to the monocline. Here we have just a gentle fold uh, as the plate gets squished by uh, some interaction in a subduction zone. Then uh, we have just this gentle slope. A mountain range is probably going to be more like this anticline here. Uh, you could also have a syncline. And uh, here's how I tell them apart, or here's how I remember them. An anticline comes up, kind of bulges up, sort of like an anthill, and a syncline sort of uh, has a bowl shape feature to it, sort of like a sink. Here we've got a combination of both. We have both an anticline and a syncline, but the fact that it doesn't look so neat and orderly like this, where this would be our anticline and this would be our syncline, rather it's sort of overturned a little bit, right? It's been pushed. When it comes to what actually happens in a subduction zone or in some other fault, we could have an extensional fault, meaning uh, these two bits of land or these two plates are moving apart from one another. We could have a reverse fault where they're moving toward one another. We could have a thrust fault where one is coming up and moving over another. Or we could just have this lateral slip shearing motion, a strike slip fault, where uh, two plates are moving past one another. Uh, well, something that I'd like you to uh, explore is the difference between a foot wall and a hanging wall, how to tell the difference between them. Here's a, another example of a fault. This is known as a horst, meaning this middle portion is being pushed up, and in a graben, the middle portion is being pushed down. So here we might have a little bit of uh, extensional motion, and here we might have a little bit of compression, and that's what's going to cause this to pop up, and this might and uh, expansion might cause this to sag. So for your notes, I'd like you to take a look at the difference. Oh, well, there's no H in foot wall, but there is an H in hanging wall. So come up with good definitions for the difference between these two, and uh, we'll see what we've got.